So hello viewers, welcome to the another lecture series of mine and today the topic of my discussion will be about the important differences between the necrosis, the process of necrosis and apoptosis. So students out there, one thing I would like to mention that the cell death is can be of two types. That is, it can be either in the form of necrosis or it can be in the form of apoptosis. So whenever uh, the talking of necrosis, so necrosis is defined as a focal cell death, all right? Whereas an apoptosis is a programmed cell death. So necrosis, actually the process what is occurring in necrosis, it is the focal cell death of cell, focal death of the cells resulting in the damage, the lysosomal enzymes are released and damage to the cell membrane is actually there. So whenever in the process of necrosis, what actually happens is that is the cell membrane. Whenever the membrane of the cell is subjected to some kind of a cellular injury, the membrane of the cell gets damaged and this damage to the cell membrane is occurs and the lysosomes what are present in the cell, they are they release their hydrolytic enzymes, which can result in the dissolution of the cells. So now we will be focusing upon the important differences between these two types of cell death, that is necrosis and apoptosis. Necrosis and apoptosis both had cell deaths, but there is a very remarkable difference between both of them. So starting beginning with the first thing, necrosis. So necrosis is actually a focal cell death. So the cell death is going to occur within a certain focal areas of the body, tissues or organs and that too due to an injury or insult to the cellular membrane. Whereas an apoptosis, an apoptosis is actually a genetically programmed phenomena. That is, it is a programmed cell death. So Moving on, another point, the very important striking feature of necrosis is that necrosis is actually a passive form of cell death and it does not require genes and protein synthesis. It does not require gene activation and protein synthesis. Whereas, on the other hand, apoptosis is actually an active cell death. Apoptosis is an active cell death and which can occur physiologically, the cell death can occur either in normal or diseased organs. So it is a genetically programmed phenomena and it requires gene activation and protein synthesis. So the first striking feature of necrosis is the first point of differentiation is necrosis is an enzymatic or an ischemic process. So an ischemic process is actually ischemia is that actually what is there in ischemia whenever there is an um, compensate whenever there is an altered or reduced blood supply to a particular organ the, the cells they die due to ischemia. Ischemia is actually a reduced blood supply to an organ. So due to reduced blood supply, the cell death what is occurring, it is necrosis. Whereas already I've told you that apoptosis is a genetically programmed cell death. Moving on to the next point of differentiation that in the process of necrosis, always there is a group of cells are involved. So in necrosis, it is a focal cell death, but here the group of cells are involved, whereas in the process of apoptosis, it usually occurs of a single cell. Here a group of cells, in it a single cell. Now at the cellular level when talking of, so at the cellular level what we find is that in the process of necrosis, the cell size increases. A striking and a distinguishing feature of necrosis is the cell size increases whereas in the process of apoptosis the cell size is going to decrease. The next point of differentiation, the cell membrane here is affected. It is an injury to the cell membrane which occurs in the recrosis which leads to the release of the hydrolytic enzymes from the lysosomes and cellular death occurs. Now 
in whereas in the case of apoptosis the cell membrane is intact so another striking feature distinguishing feature is the cell membrane in the process of necrosis is affected whereas in the process of apoptosis the cell membrane is intact now moving on to the next point of differentiation necrosis is always pathological so students out there necrosis is actually it is always a pathological process means there is some or the other pathology associated with the tissue or the organ and undergoing necrosis whereas it is not so in the case of uh, apoptosis apoptosis can be both it can be physiological it can be pathological too so now moving on to the next thing necrosis already i have told you students that whenever an injury cellular injury occurs there has to be a, the process of necrosis occurs so here inflammation is always present in case of necrosis whereas in the case of apoptosis inflammation is absent next moving on to the next point of differentiation as such during the process of necrosis as such we don't find any markers no markers are there whereas in the process of apoptosis we uh, the markers what are involved are the what are seen are the nxn5 and cd95 now moving on to the next important point of differentiation is during the dna electrophoresis so during the, the cells undergoing necrosis when the, they are subjected to dna electrophoresis what we find that is on the slide we are going to have the smear pattern so the cells undergoing necrosis if they are subjected to dna electrophoresis they can they uh, they sh particularly show the pattern what is observed on the slide it is of the smear pattern whereas in the process of apoptosis the dna electrophoresis is going to show the step ladder pattern so this step ladder pattern is basically in because of the why step ladder pattern is seen in apoptosis it is because of the restriction endonuclease enzyme which is actively taking part in the process of apoptosis now moving on to the another nuclear changes so another distinguishing and striking feature of the necrosis we can differentiate between them it is that the nuclear changes what are going to be seen in the process of necrosis and apoptosis are well easily differentiate, uh, differentiated so nuclear changes what are seen it is the process of pycnosis and karyorexis so pycnosis is actually when the nuclear material is going to get clumped into the nucleus it is actually the process of pycnosis whereas karyorexis it is the chromosomes in the uh, nucleus they are going to get fragmented so in the process of necrosis the, strike, the striking and the distinguishing feature what can be seen at the cellular level it is in the form of pycnosis and the karyorexis whereas in the process of apoptosis what we find is that the nucleus is going to lysis lysis karyo that is karyolysis occur karyon is nucleus and lysis is disintegration so the this lysis of the nucleus that is the karyolysis is seen that is the dissolution of the nucleus occurs so students out there this was my distinguishing features this was my analysis as to how we can very easily remember the points of differentiation and we can have a clear picture in our brain about the striking distinguishing features of necrosis and apoptosis so students out there if you do like my video don't forget to subscribe my channel and do press the bell icon so that you can be further updated about my new videos thank you for watching